Are you going to get a house? Yeah. This is the fifth move in less than two years for Jerry Krasnowski. He had to leave a group home in Wadena in 2016, then found himself being shunted between long-term care beds. His family says staff drugged him to keep him quiet. I think the hardest part was when he was in diapers and couldn't feed himself. And I, that we don't want to see Jerry like that. We know that active, fun-loving Jerry where he'll give you a smile and a hug and uh, he wants to shake your hand if he doesn't know you. So um, it was hard to, to see him really be lifeless when he's so full of life. Christy Gradeen and her family launched a fight for Jerry. They say he's not dying. He has Down syndrome and deserves dignity. It absolutely breaks my heart. Like, for people who um, don't have a voice or a varying abilities where to, to navigate this absolutely difficult system, I mean, it was hard. Where's my hug? Once Jerry Krasnowski's family made his story public, things started to change. You're so sweet. <laughs> Welcome to your new home. The Ministry of Social Services found the money to move Jerry to this acreage south of Saskatoon. <laughs> with room for two other intellectually disabled people in the same duplex. How can you tell whether he likes it or not? Well, a few things. First of all, the smile on his face and the hugs that he gives us, he's uh, absolutely elated to be there. But also, he's been sleeping way better at night, um, so he, you know that he feels safe. And before, he was really uh, apprehensive about using the, the washroom. And now he'll even go by himself, which is remarkable. Um, in the few short days that he's been there, we've seen a dramatic change in his behaviors. To see him today where he's playing soccer with the staff and kicking a ball and uh, obviously very much so feeding himself and, and really enjoying life. Jerry's family says care homes cost more than group homes, and seniors with Down syndrome don't need drugs and diapers. Instead, they're part of a growing number of people with intellectual disabilities who, like Jerry, yes again? Oh, yeah. just want a place to call their own. <laughs> Jennifer Cannell, CBC News, Saskatoon.